All right, this is the big showdown when it comes to efficiency. So we are got a bunch of people here. They are behind me right now. Uh, the owners, uh, a bunch of cars, and we will find out which car is the most efficient. So let's start. Uh, I have to do a little walkthrough here. So there's so many cars here. Let, let me just give you a picture of all of them. We have what eight cars. <laughs> I've never done such a big scale test before. So the first car here is a Chevrolet Bolt. Now it has some slightly, they, these are Chevrolet rims, but it has the Michelin green tires or whatever, so it should be efficient. Yeah, all right, so the Bolt. And then the next one is uh, Hyundai Ioniq, also with the original rims. And you see that he doesn't have front license plate. Actually, none of these cars, almost none of them has front license plate, except for two. So that should also be slightly more efficient for the Ionic. Yeah, nothing much else to say with the Ionic. Okay, and then the next car here is a Model 3. Now this one is a performance Model 3, just like the, the still one. So both of these are performance Model 3s, but he didn't get the, the brake upgrade. Try to show you here. See, well, it's kind of hard to show you, but he has the standard brakes. It's an off-menu option. I'm not sure if you can get any more. So he, he goes for the 18-inch wheels instead and performance. All right, and next one here is the performance, all right? Dual motor performance, but with the brake upgrade, and I've shown before uh, in another video, you can see that it's like more, uh, probably more better performing brakes, big red brake calipers, 20-inch wheels rather than 18. Uh, so this one will be somewhat low in efficiency because of that. And then the next car here is um, also, yeah, all of these are long range Model 3s, by the way. Another Model 3, <coughs> long range dual motor with nine, oh, yeah, this is 19 inch wheels. So you see there's a slight difference between the 19 inch wheels and the 20 inch wheels. So this should be slightly less efficient than some of the other cars. And then the car I'll be driving is this one. It's um, a rear wheel drive Model 3 long range with 20, oh, it's weird, 18 inch wheels. Potentially this could be the winner. Uh, they say that the rear wheel drive is more efficient than the, the dual motor. So we shall see. Uh, this car here, the next one is the dual motor uh, with the same rims, the same tires, you see, the 18, and then the last one here is a Model S P85 Plus with 21 inch wheels. <laughs> this one could potentially be the loser with the highest consu consumption of them all. So yes, uh, let's talk to uh, the people then. So here are all the people we gathered. It's so awesome that we can get so many cars and so many people to drive them. So uh, we have to talk a little bit about the rules. So I'll go behind the camera. So. Um, yeah, uh, rule number one is no drafting. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, we, we, we would cruise at 75 miles per hour, 120 kilometers per hour. I think most of the cars can do that uphill. What, what about the Ionic? That's the Ionic is the least uh, powerful car of them all. Yeah, yeah but you're, should, I mean, you should be able to handle that uphill. Have you done it that pass before? Yeah, I've, I've done 75 before. Ah, um, okay. Should, I don't think there should be an issue going up till. All right, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> good. And then um, the next rule, what, do you guys remember all the rules we set? Uh, next one was like, uh, yeah, cruise, con I mean, cruise control on, I guess. Air conditioning on. Air conditioning on. 70 it's, degrees Fahrenheit, 70. Yeah, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 21 degrees Celsius. Uh, and what about, ooh, coasting? <laughs> yeah, uh, so supposedly it's illegal to coast in, in California in neutral. in neutral in neutral yeah so we can't coast but again the ionic is special <laughs> turn off the region <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the ionic guy can can coast I mean he can he can drive put the car in dry but then turn off region yeah uh, but then you might roll like 90 miles per hour <laughs> down uh, yeah as, lo as long as I'm yeah within 75 yeah and again, Ionic is also special because it has the driver-only setting. Mm -hmm. 
and on because the yeah, on yeah. the air conditioning, and because most Americans they drive alone anyway. <laughs> uh, they don't have passengers, then it's okay, yeah. you're allowed to use it. Cool. Uh, and then who's driving the Model S, by the way? Hey. Okay, uh, so you have... Um, uh, that's, the Model S is also a little bit different because it has uh, susp air suspension. Also um, range mode. And range mode. So yeah. what... Huh? So we put the range mode on. 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 So the rear-wheel drive Model S only changes the air conditioning. It doesn't do anything to the motors. Mm, okay. So it shouldn't make much of a difference. Okay, so we use range mode on. And what about air suspension? We'll just keep the suspension standard because most performance rear-wheel drive Model S owners they don't want the tire wear that happens in low. Okay. So the degradation of the tires, so they keep it in standard. Yeah, all right, that's So that's good. more real world. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and I think the last thing, we have to talk to, uh, I call it the bolt guy, Eric, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eric, Howdy. yes, you've been challenging me. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the bolt? Does it have any special settings? Yeah, so within the car, it's low regen and uh, high regen for drive, I typically, drive an L because that will maintain speed better. D will allow you to coast a little bit more with mm. lower regen. Um, and then also sport mode versus normal mode, but that only re, uh, recalibrates the pedal sensitivity okay. for the accelerator. So you will use what, normal mode? Uh, I can use normal mode in, in D and or D, D. L. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, yeah, yeah it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, if you said drive like I normally drive, so I can do that. Yeah, and then, all right. Uh, the uh, air conditioning has two settings, so it's recirculate and vent outside air. So uh, I'll just drive like I normally drive with the air conditioning set at 70. And then uh, my car is a little bit unique in that it has, uh, the tires are from the Volt because I had to replace my tires. And uh, it has cruise eco rims, which are a little bit lighter as well. So uh, it's lighter rolling, uh, rolling uh, weight, but uh, otherwise it's about the same efficiency at speed. And because mine's an LT, it doesn't have the roof rails that are built onto the car, so it's a little bit more aerodynamic. Mm. And uh, it doesn't have the subwoofer or sound system, uh, so it probably draws a little bit less power. So it mm. might be more efficient than the Premier. Okay. So. Well, all right. I think we are almost good to go. But um, uh, so, <laughs> like, one last question then. Which car will win? <laughs> not you, the Model S. No. No, okay, not the Model yeah, S. No, yeah. not, not my performance. No, okay, not your performance. Uh, assuming assuming Ionic? we don't run out of uh, range, I'm, <laughs> I feel like the, the Ionic has a good shot. Okay, well, okay, Ionic? Yeah. Probably either Ionic or the rear drive uh, Model 3. Yeah, the, one, the black one I'm driving, the rear wheel drive Model 3 with a wheel cap on. Yeah, one or the other. I measure the wheel cap to be about 2 to 4% more efficient than the caps off. So, hmm, and then which, <laughs> okay, <laughs> more efficient, <laughs> yeah. and then, okay, and the second, so we don't know yet which car will win, but which car will lose then? <laughs> model S. Model S. OS. Model S. In the performance Model 3, also. Oh, okay, okay, so oh, no. we're guessing. Mine. <laughs> his performance Model 3. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah, his, his performance wheels. Model 3. Uh, sticky tires, sticky tires. tires, sticky tires. Yeah, because that will be interesting. Because uh, uh, your no, car is, so you have the wheels <laughs> like the other cars, but you just have more power. Yeah, basically. So in theory, your white Model S there, oh, sorry, Model Three there, should be about the same as the the uh, the dual motor. Dual motor. Three. Mm -hmm. We will see. <laughs> but okay. Anyway, uh, we've been chatting too long, so let's get into the car and start driving. All right, good. Uh, people are getting ready in the cars. Yeah, it, it sounds like a nice race here, but it's an eco race kind of. It's a it's a different type of race. Yeah. All right. So this is my car for the day, which is uh, somewhat old-ish. Oh, it stopped. I wanted to keep the heater running. Oh, I'm charging past because the battery, the temperature is too high. <gasps> Shit. Okay. So I'm also live streaming. Yeah, and uh, let me show you here. We are going. Okay, hold on. Yeah, what's up? Can you add me to the group chat? Oh, yeah. Or it should be fine. I think, yeah, I will try to do that. Okay. Or I, I wonder if someone else can do it also. But I, okay, I will fix that. Yeah. Oh, all right. Thank yeah. you. But yeah, we have also group chat stuff going on here. So, yeah, let's uh, prepare. But I will show you here. We will drive from here, uh, Santa Clarita Supercharger, to Lebec. 
there's some elevations on 4,000 feet elevation. That's like 1,200 uh, 1200 1200 meters. And then we will just turn around, no stopping, just turn back and go back here. So that will be uh, about 120 kilometers. So hopefully the Ionic will make it. Oh yes, we are on the move. So you see in front of us here, we have the Bolt, we have the Model S, we have one of the Model 3s. Yeah, that's the dual motor. Yeah, so we have four cars here. We have one car behind me also. Uh, and then this, the group has been split a little bit. Uh, the Ionic and uh, some of the other cars, they are uh, left behind. They, they were caught up in the red light, but they should be able to catch up with us. Right? It doesn't matter really. Uh, it's just like a minute apart. Yeah, right, let's, let's try to get to the faster lanes, yes. All right, I'm just cruising along. We started uh, going uphill. And the consumption is as expected somewhat high, 167. So I wonder how high it is on the other cars, but we will see towards the end. Yeah. Hey, um, guys, how? What's your consumptions? My consumption is 328 right now. Uh, right now, I am at 304. 304. But I'm a bit behind you guys. I'm also, a, just a quick check on the Ionic. I'm at 335, right? Yeah. You're away from me, and I said it's 75 as well. This is a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so I guess we're not stretching that. Okay, 2,000 feet elevation now. I'll bring it down a little bit to uh, 74. See, I switched to Imperial now, so I'm doing 75-ish. So I have I have 358 now. Yeah, it's going up fast. All right, it seems like uh, some of the rightmost lanes are the faster lanes. <laughs> yeah, so I've been restricted by traffic uh, in parts of it, and now. Now I'm able to cruise 120, and I heard that the Ionic has been lucky, well, or unlucky, because the Ionic was able to cruise at 120 most of the time. Uh, so that could be somewhat unfair. Oh, we have some accident here. Unfall! Unfall! Yeah, okay. Let's hammer it, you see? Let's hammer it. Overtake on the right. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Alright, we are about to turn. Uh, there's some chat going on there, uh, the voice chat. But yeah, in 2.3 kilometers we'll turn back at Lebec. So the consumption now is fairly high, 223, yeah. But we are in the highlands now. I don't remember the elevation, but it's probably like over 3,000 feet. Yeah, it's pretty nice today. Yeah, the one on the there. Alright, we just turned back now and uh, we also passed through the, the highest point of elevation which is uh, 4,144 uh, feet, that's like 1,200 something meters and we are going down to uh, about 200 meters so that means I have a 1,000 meter elevation change downhill and you see we have 212 so hopefully it will be much lower and I'm sorry for the noise one of the participants uh, is making some constant rattling noise. Hopefully it's not from his car. <laughs> wow, this is freaking awesome. We started the slow descent, right? Uh, we are still uh, 40 kilometers away. And I'm already at 180 watt per kilometer. And we are cruising at 120 here. This is just insanely low. We still have downhill, so... On my previous test with the other cars, I was I was able to average about you know 175 or something on a flat road. Yeah, but with a so supposedly less efficient uh, dual motor. So uh, the car I'm sitting in right now is supposed to be the most efficient one, three, maybe except for the mid range, which is lighter. So wow, we will see once we start descending how low this will be in the end. This is really impressive. We we just started. The, okay, there's a main downhill coming here, and look, 173. Huh? That is like ridiculously low. I never seen numbers like that before on highway speed like this. And it, it will just drop until we are back at the supercharger. Wow, 
what the heck? 172? Huh, let's see if we can beat the Ionic. Yeah, we're going for the Ionic. <laughs> okay, just what the heck? We are almost down in the valley now, but look, we've been driving for an hour almost. This doesn't lie, you know. Average speed is 110 kilometers per hour at least. And it's 153 watt hour kilometer. We haven't stopped yet. How the heck is it possible? Okay, it's 22 degrees Celsius outside. This might be the most efficient car I'm driving right now. What the heck? There, one hour, 110 kilometers per hour. What? Okay, we're almost there. Exit in 7.6 kilometers. Yeah, let's finish this. Okay, we are almost at the end of the highway. And now, 146. Whoa, I have to prepare for uh, the exit now. Okay. What the heck? That is very low. Oh, all partners are wearing things there. Okay, we are back at the starting point. Yes, everyone got here. I heard some stories that someone got lost. We're gonna hear about that later. But uh, let's start with uh, Eric then, the Bolt. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, 286.58 miles, or uh, watt hours per mile. So two, 287, if we run up to 287. Sure. <laughs> 287, yeah. 287 watt hour per mile. 178 km, or watt hours per kilometer. Okay. But 287, we, we go for the Imperial now, for now. Yeah. I will do the conversion, you can see it on the screen there. But two, 287, that's pretty high, okay? And then, um, well, next one, Ionic. Uh, Ionic uh, did 238 watt-hours per mile. 238, yeah. okay, damn, that's yeah, pretty good. <laughs> All right, and then the next one, uh, the that, performance, yep. yes? Yeah, that's a performance model three with the 18-inch aero wheels. It averaged 244 watt-hours per mile. 244. Ooh, yeah. that's pretty close to yeah. uh, Ionic. And the two of us were together for the whole run, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. so 244. All right, and then next one is the performance. Ooh, <laughs> Rams is the performance. Performance with the 20 inch wheels, and it did 278. Oh, wait, 278. What about Eric? Two. 286. Oh! Yes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, and then uh, the Model S. So this is a Model S P85 Plus with 21 inch wheels with the sticky tires. Oh. And it did 321 oh. watt hours per mile. That is yeah. the, the, lo the highest, 321. All right. And, and uh, uh, this is the long range rear wheel drive 19 inch wheels. It did like 246 watt hour per mile. Wait, 246? Yes. Ooh, that's not too bad. That's very close to the performance, wasn't it? 244. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, and then, uh, well, which, which car, this is, uh, yeah, this is the, the one I wasn't driving. So that was the rear wheel drive uh, with the uh, hubcaps on, right? 18 inch wheels. How much was the Ionic? Uh, 230. 238. 238. Let me see, 238. Mine was 232. Two. <laughs> that means this one is the high, the lowest, unless the last car. Where's the last car? Um, that's the dual motor. Okay, yeah, okay. Yes, uh, the other Eric was driving the dual motor. So what was your? Uh, so the dual mo dual motor all wheel drive. Yeah. I came in at 255. 255. That's huh? how? Why was that one higher than the performance? Huh. Driver error. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could have just been uh, a difference in conditions because the group did get split up. Okay. Uh, so they could have, he could have had slightly different traffic conditions than we did. Wait, so uh, who who got lost there? Who did uh, James May? So the Model S. Oh, okay. Yeah, let, let me hear. Yeah. So uh, let me hear. What what happened with the? Uh, uh, so we got off on an exit. The one before the one we were supposed to get off. So we <laughs> drove one mile further on a parallel road to the freeway, okay. which added about a mile and a half to the overall trip. And we were going like 50 miles an hour, 50 oh. to 60 instead of 75. But was it like even, you could yeah, just was, cruise? Yeah. So if anything, we probably would have done better. Yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> the 321, but it was only one mile out of okay. ab about 80 miles. Yeah. So overall it probably didn't do too yeah, much. Yeah, because the, the trip here was like uh, 100 and I don't know, so over 100. 77 miles. Se yeah. So, so they like went 77 miles. My car showed 78.3 okay. miles. Yeah. So just slightly further. Yeah, and we're looking yeah. for the consumption. So, yeah. Hmm. 
interesting but uh, you know I was really surprised that uh, the Model 3 was so efficient but also the Ionic was super efficient but for some reason the Model 3 rear wheel drive beat them all so some of you guys have been you know, you've been um, claiming that the rear wheel drive is more efficient and this test shows that it, it is true so Elon Musk, if you're watching, please bring back the rear wheel drive. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, talk to you later.